This wig person says that if she seen one black man, she seen them all. <laughs> like, share, subscribe, new, hit the bell for the notification. Let's go ahead and get straight to the video. Social media is on the screen. Links in the description. Let's go ahead and get the video started. Hi. Hello. Where are we going? What are we doing? I can't hear you. Hold on. Hello. Girl, you look a, 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 like a little worm. So, so this is not a get ready with me or anything. I just wanted to say no, I was running so, errands today so, at know. the mall. And I love black men, okay? I am pro-black men. You know she's about to say some BS. They're just not doing it. They're not putting in any effort. So, Wait, hold on, Aubrey. You came in hot. You came in hot. <laughs> <They're That's no. laughs> They are not giving the effort that we need, okay? So I was walking in the mall and this Italian guy approached me, right? Oh. And that's different for me because I, again, I am attracted to black men. Oh. So 30 minutes later, I was like, um, I'm going to Eddie V's to have lunch, I mean, dinner or whatever. And he's like, okay, well, we can go together. And I'm like, okay. He's coming in hot again. I was just running errands. I have on my little lemon set. My tapings maintenance is on Wednesday, so of course I just have on a hat. I don't have on any makeup, so I was just so shocked. Like it just took me by surprise. I always wear makeup, you know. I'm always done up. So the fact that he approached me and I wasn't, I'm like, okay. Okay, so what's the vibe? Is he cute? Do you like him? What did you guys go to lunch? Did we did go to lunch. We did go to lunch. We went, we actually went to two spots. Oh, we went to two spots. So we went to Eddie B's again. I was going on a solo date. <laughs> and I was like, he he actually asked me if I wanted to go out, and I'm like, well, I'm actually headed to Eddie B's. I got my doggy bag. <laughs> I know that's right. You see that Lulu um, lemon power jacket top, honey? The way it snatched you in, he saw that body. Oh, that's she from face. New York. So I was just real chill. Honestly, I was just going in to, you know, get something really quick. And he came in hot. Like, it's given black men do not stand a chance. No, nah, first of all, like I said, Ashley, babe, skin, glow up, girl. <laughs> Let's get it popping though, because she's over here saying black men don't stand a chance because she had one man, just one, just uno, that just popped up on her and just said something that she liked for the night and it was just right. Ma'am, shut up. That's all I gotta say is be quiet. The conversation, like, what was the? Did he say I can't wait to see you again? Yes. What is going on? Give us. Give us a little bit more tea. You don't have to tell us too much because it is so early. But what was the conversation like? Did he Why say what like you know, we were just honestly having a good time. Again, it wasn't anything too serious. Um, we drove separate cars to the restaurant. Um, he met me there. I was like, even if he, I called my homegirl on the way down. Like, even if he doesn't come, like, I still have intentions on going here. <laughs> So it's not like, a red no, flag, I just though. I don't want to spend time with you. So we ended up going to a hookah lounge, and we were just honestly just vibing. But for me, it was just his approach. It was different from what I'm used to with an African American man. It's all the texting back and forth, the calling, the this, the that. You know, I'm not looking for anything serious, but. I just loved his approach, especially with me wearing a hat. I was wearing a hat. Lululemon said I got my little Chanel sneakers, Chanel bag, just very, very chill. It's a designated outfit for this woman. She said she can pull with, with this certain outfit. Okay, we get it. Okay, cool. That's that's nice. That's sweet and dandy. But notice how she said this one thing about how this man drove his separate car and she drove her separate car. Just think if this was a black dude, right? Wouldn't she be saying, oh, no, nah, you got to take me. You got to take me. Uh-uh. God, I've seen so many women on these videos and stuff like that. Actually, in real life, I've seen them act like that as well. Like, they, they will get mad if you don't take them. So why is it 
so different from her for for him if that's the case. Just saying. Well, y'all had the hookah and another couple of drinks. These, you want to do something else after? What was that vibe like? Cause oh. it, it could it could go a little. Nope. He was very respectful. He was okay. very respectful. Okay. And that's right. another so, thing that just left me like, okay, he didn't try to kiss me, hug me. Nothing like he he did it like he tried like he wanted to hold my hand and I'm like all right that's cool but we ain't kissing like you know he did not try to so okay so he got patience (laughs) what he's not a freak as always school and he's in school as well so he knows that I'm busy but like he was like you'll make time for you know what you want and he's like it's no pressure basically. So, right, that's actually a question. Think, again, like I said, I'm not looking for anything because I'm extremely busy with school. But I just wanted to get on here because you were talking about make sure that even if you're running errands, that you look put together. And I was. But let me also ask you this too because I know you spoke about, like, you know, with you dating the black men that you have dated, in your experience, you just don't feel like they're as proactive. They are not. It's too much back and forth with the text message. They want to call. Oh, when can I see you? It's never planning a date. And I would like to be in my feminine energy. Although I'm in law school and I plan to, you know, make my own money, I still want a man to allow me to be very feminine. And I will sit in that. And they just. Yeah, that's the problem right there. I don't know. Okay. All right. And outside my race. Never. We're also asking people in the comments: Are we dating the same kind of black men? Let's say, do all these, all the black men you've dated, do they hang out at the same spot? Do they have the same lifestyle? So I'm from Florida. I'm from the South, and I've always been attracted to the men from the South. Recently, I have stepped outside. I recently went on vacation to Hawaii, okay. and I met a guy in Hawaii. Um, so, you know, we text from time to time, and <laughs> but most of them, I am dating the same type of men, I would say. Then there you go. Um, once I, ch- I, I always wear braids because I don't have time to do my hair in school. Once I change to straight hair, the looks that I get from other races is like it's crazy. I'll be walking in the park. I'm exercising. Men, white men, all different type of races are just look. They're turning their heads. Oh my god! And I will say that, that yeah, races of men like straight hair. My mom said, "Get straight hair," because I was I had to go to the courthouse for my internship. She was like, "Get straight hair," and I'm like, "Okay." And when I tell you the change that I've seen and the type of men that are looking my way is completely different. Like, and let me also say this, but if we're not saying there's anything wrong with braids. Clearly, there's no, 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 absolutely not. I love my braids. We're just having a conversation, you and I. But, but I just want to put that forward. I just want to put that forward. You know, she's saying it's her experience when she does her hair. This is her experience, guys. Okay, we're not saying there not there aren't other races of men who don't like braids. We understand that all men, all groups of men, may or may not like. So let me just bring that forward. Let me stop reading the comments. But and there's an there's an attorney on TikTok that had braids and she went to trial and she lost. And she was like, I know that it's because of my hair. Like it's a real thing in our industry that. You know, we have to be mindful of something so simple as our hair. That is true, though. But that's all. Yes. I'm going home. I have to work out tomorrow and I have to study. But I just wanted to share. I've been watching you for many, many, I don't know, I want to say many, many years. But I've been watching you for several months and... I just felt empowered to actually come on. I'm not on a done up, so maybe I'll come back with an outfit of the night for you guys. So, thank you, Ari, for coming up and keep us updated on everything. Okay, well, thank you. Okay, so pretty much to wrap up this video, 
black woman finds out that if she looks good going outside, if she looks presentable going outside, if she gets her hair done and goes outside, she attracts men. And not just any men, different men. Because she's not designated to just black men. Wow, you figured it out, black woman. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Now, if this is a true story, which I would believe it is because she's saying it like I would hope she's not lying. No, black men are not designated to only speak to you like other races can speak to you, too. Just like other races can speak to black men as well. This is a free country, a huge world with billions of people in it. We can talk to whoever we, we want to talk to. Okay. Bro, like, I'm trying to get with it. Like, I understand what she's saying to a point, but, like, she's over here saying it like, oh, yeah, she has to equip this hairstyle, this one right here, and that's how you get them, sis. That's how you knock them dead. Like, bro, what are you talking about? You just answered your own question. You was dating Ray Ray Boo Boo and Tyrone from Florida with the wicks. That's, <laughs> that was the only thing you was attracting, so your energy was going into them, equaling out. What you attracting? Plain and simple. Anyways, we'll go ahead and end the video off here. Like, share, subscribe, and do. Hit the bell for notifications. I will catch you in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, then share with a friend. Share with a family member, and I will catch you in the next video. Social media is all on the screen and in the links in the description. Um, the other channel, Rage and Fredo, where I do pop the balloons and all that good stuff is in the links as well. Other videos are on the screen. There should be two on the screen. You should be able to see those and click on those and enjoy those. Make sure that you smash the like button. Video takes control of the algorithm, commands the algorithm, and that will help put out more videos and stuff like that. You already know what I'm talking about. Anyways, just go ahead and smash the like button and all that. You know, help your boy out and all that. Anyways, um, I'm going to go ahead and end the video off here. See you later. Have a good one. Bye-bye. <laughs>